primary research in the National Sciences Fund. So this is what students will see as guidance as they're working through their National Sciences Center efforts. Here's an exemplar, and the entire section is focused on using this one exemplar to help me as a student understand what needs to be done in primary research. So it opens with putting down my research question. So I put down my research question, and now I put down my best guess of what's going to happen. Of course, it's my hypothesis, it doesn't have to be right. Then I'm going to put down some variables over here and the range that I expect them to be in. Thinking about my independent and dependent variables, but also how I'm going to measure this variable. It then lets me think about my controls and how I would maintain controls, as well as put down the methodology. So just easing me in with everything I need to think about as I begin to look at my research. The one important thing is, it does have me think about why I'm undertaking this primary research. Is it because it's information that's not already available? And if it's not the case, then it tells me to re-evaluate my experiment. Because the primary research should provide new information or enhance the information I already have. And takes me back to the first step to re-evaluate my experiment. Right here, it then has me think about Will my primary research support specific quantitative and qualitative analysis and evaluation that's directly related to my research question? If not, again, it will tell me to re-evaluate my experiment. So as you can see, before I go too far down the track of organizing the research, it's helping me decide whether or not I'm on the right track. And only if I'm on the right track will I then move to this section on planning the experiment, adding control groups, and coming up with a raw data plan. So as we look at planning the experiment, um, it lets me review the experiment plan from the proposal and put down the information gap to be addressing. At every stage, I'm being guided. So right here, it tells me what are some sources I can go to to get some further secondary research on the information gaps that exist. And then here, I put down how I have revised the research plan based on the secondary information that I've found. Again, excellent material to be documented for the research and reflection space. I now learn about what a control group is and start adding control groups for my experiment. This exemplar is back to help me out. And it's designed to be interactive. So right here, you know, I'm looking at this exemplar, uh, choosing an option, and if I get that right, it lets me move forward. Okay, so now I'm going to put down my control groups. I can add more control groups if need be, and then move forward to the raw data plan. When it comes to collecting data, again, it helps me think about all the variables, how I'm measuring them, whether I've got the controls in place, how many trials I intend to run, and then what is it that I plan on measuring. It has me think about the math required to move from the um, variables that I've got to the measurements that I need. and then gives me some helpful tips on how to design my raw data table. So as you can see, again, there's the exemplar to help me with uh, what I should be looking out for as I do my preliminary tests. And right here is my checkpoint document that has all of the key things that I've put down so far. The research question, the revisions I've made to it, and the research methodology that I've outlined over here. And this becomes available for me and the supervisor to fully understand what is it that I intend to do, uh, ensuring that I've got a good plan down in place before I move to the laboratory and start my testing.